Hello, uh, I wanted to do a review of this product. Um, I don't really promote products, um, don't like commercials, but when you start getting into windmills, you will uh, quickly find that ratings on a lot of them are uh, overzealous, uh, overestimated. Uh, and I wanted to show this little windmill kit that comes from uh, a company called Wind Blue. I think they're out of Topeka, Kansas. They come up with a nice little bracket here that will uh, go right on to a two inch pole. Uh, it's got a little piece that goes on the pole and all the weight sets on it and allows it to rotate quite nicely. Um, Along with the bracket, this uh, blade kit comes with it and the tail. It bolts on there. Um, one of the things I've learned, you think, well, that's not much blade, but really the ones that have more blades on it uh, have less speed, more torque, and are designed to use for uh, like pumping water, where uh, two blades like this can actually be faster than the wind and can actually. Uh, uh, produce more electrical power than um, the multi-blade ones. Um, this is a permanent magnet alternator. It's designed for low wind speeds. This particular alternator, uh, I think it's a model 520, will start charging a 12 volt battery in as little as uh, oh, five to seven mile an hour winds. Most of the time when you have one of these rated, or when any windmill rated, they rate it dead short for current and open circuit for voltage which really gives a misleading uh, power uh, output. And the only way you can really tell what these things are doing is to uh, put them underneath a load. Um, point of interest about this particular one is this one has this pigtail here and out of this pigtail it puts off AC. And uh, being that it puts off AC, it'll go a long way without any loss, the normal loss that DC current might have. And it's got this external rectifier here that comes with it. And that external rectifier turns that AC into DC and uh, hooks right up to your charge controllers. That is a really nice little unit. I think I gave $699, $700 for this one. Um, now they're quite a bit more expensive. But uh, of all the ones that we've tested and used that are all reasonably priced, I haven't found a better product than this one, and so um, and I've and I've spent a lot of money in pursuit of some of them, and so this one here is really, in my opinion, uh, one of the better choices. And I'm just letting you guys in on this. Uh, you'll do a lot of search uh, for a, a mid-size or inexpensive uh, windmill, and this one doesn't clog. It's brushless, so it doesn't have any kind of maintenance problems on it. Uh, is this a real good product, really? Uh, okay, thanks for watching.